If you're looking for a step-by-step -step tutorial for turning your Apple AirPods Pro 2 into hearing aids, then you're in the right place. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to set up the new hearing aid feature for your Apple AirPods Pro 2. With the new Apple iOS 18.1 software update, you now have access to a hearing aid feature with your Apple AirPods Pro 2 if you live in an approved area like the United States. This update officially turns the Apple AirPods Pro 2 into official over-the-counter hearing aids per FDA guidelines. This means that if you're an adult with perceived mild to moderate hearing loss, that you may be able to use the Apple AirPods Pro 2 to treat your hearing loss. Of course, you actually have to set these up the right way so you can use them as over the counter hearing aids. That's why in this video, I'm gonna walk you through this entire process step by step to make sure that you do this correctly and provide you with some helpful tips along the way. Just to be clear, this is a setup tutorial for the hearing aid feature with the Apple AirPods Pro 2. This is not a detailed review video about the performance of the Apple AirPods Pro 2 as hearing aids. However, if you do wanna check out my detailed review video of the Apple AirPods Pro 2 as hearing aids, I will have this video linked in the description for you to check out. The first step in this process is to actually pair your Apple AirPods Pro 2 to your iPhone if you haven't already. And this process is relatively simple. Make sure that you have your iPhone turned on open the lid to your Apple AirPods Pro 2, and then turn the case around and see that little button that you have on the back there. What you wanna do is you wanna press on that button. It takes a few seconds to hold it down, but you should be seeing a flashing white light on the front of your charger case, putting it into pairing mode. Once you do this, your Apple iPhone should actually recognize your AirPods Pro 2, at which point you wanna go ahead and click on connect. Once you have them connected, you'll be able to see the battery life of the AirPods Pro 2 and the charger case. Once your AirPods Pro 2 are paired with your phone, you will need to ensure that you have the proper iOS software. To find this, you need to open your settings, scroll down to general, tap on software update, and ensure that you are at least updated to iOS version 18.1. If not, go ahead and start the update process. Your AirPods Pro 2 will not function as hearing aids until you have updated to this iOS version. Once you're updated, you can tap on your AirPods Pro 2 in the settings. If you see hearing protection and hearing assistance options under hearing health, then you are ready to start the setup process of your AirPods as hearing aids. However, if you do not see a hearing health section with these options, then your AirPods Pro 2 need to be updated. Now there is no quick and easy way to update your Apple AirPods Pro 2, but what you have to do is you actually have to plug them in like this. I recommend opening the lid of the charger case and then making sure that your phone is turned on and very close to the charger case and then you just have to leave it there, no joke, for a couple of hours. After a period of time, that update will occur but you're not really gonna get a notification as to when it occurs. Just an FYI here, Apple support will be able to help guide you in doing this update of the AirPods Pro 2, but they really don't have any knowledge of the hearing aid feature, so I wouldn't really be asking them a ton of questions about it. Honestly, you'll probably get more information from the comment section of this video. When this update occurs, you will eventually see the hearing health section appear when in the AirPods settings. When you do, you have a few options when it comes to adding an audiogram, which will customize your amplification levels. You can either take a hearing test, take a photo of a professional audiogram, or enter your professional audiogram results manually. Let's start with taking a hearing test inside of the app. After providing some details about your age, allergy, or cold symptoms, and if you've been in a loud noisy environment recently, you'll be allowed to continue on with the test. The app will check to make sure that you're in a quiet environment, and then you can place your AirPods inside of your ears. It will run through a brief fit check before it starts the test to ensure you're wearing the proper size of rubber tip on your AirPods. If not, make sure that you switch to a different size ear tip until you get two green check marks. Then you can start the hearing test. During the test, you will hear different tones at different loudness levels. When you hear them, just simply tap on the screen of your phone. The test takes around five to eight minutes and will pause if your background noise levels get too high. Once you complete the test, you will see your average results displayed in dBHL. 
the higher the number, the more hearing loss you have in that particular ear. Or you can click on show details to see your hearing loss plotted on an audiogram like you would typically see if you went to an audiologist. You will also have the option to turn on media assist, which will apply your hearing test results to your streaming media as well. When you turn on media assist, it will give you the option to click done or set up hearing aid. You want to click on set up hearing aid. As you click through the options, you will eventually get to turn on hearing aid. To use your results from a professional audiogram, you need to click on Hearing Assistance, where you can scroll down and click on Update Hearing Test Results. Here, you can either select on other hearing tests that you have taken through the app or entered manually previously, since Apple has had a hearing aid-like feature for several years that you may have set up previously. Or you can click on Add Hearing Test Result, where you can click Scan with Camera or Add Manually. Scanning with the iPhone camera is cool, but it definitely works better with paper paper audiogram results than it does with scanning from a computer screen. Either way, you will probably have to go in and correct some of these thresholds manually if you scan in your audiogram. If you click on Add Manually, you can add an audiogram from photos or from files or enter the results of your professional audiogram by hand. Once you have the test entered that you want in the Hearing Assistant screen, you can toggle the hearing aid feature on. On the same screen, you can see that you can toggle on or off Media Assist entirely or separately for music and video audio and calls and FaceTime. This will just apply your hearing test results to these different types of streaming media. If you want to customize the audio further, you can click on Adjustments. I recommend that you turn on the TV or play some external audio so you can customize each of these adjustments to your preference. In this section, you can control your level of amplification from mute all the way on the far left to maximum volume all the way on the far right. The swipe to control amplification is a cool feature that allows you to adjust the volume levels of the hearing aid feature on your AirPods Pro 2 when you're in transparency mode and not streaming other audio. Just in case you do not know how to do this, basically you take your finger and swipe up on the stem of the AirPod right here and that will increase the volume level of your external sound. You can adjust the amplification balance between your left and right ears if you feel like you need more volume in one ear versus the other. You can adjust the tonal balance between brighter, which gives you more high frequency sounds to make things sound sharper, or darker for more low frequency sounds that make things sound louder or more bassy. You can adjust your ambient noise reduction, which will either reduce steady state noises like fan noise if you shift it to more, or allow you to hear more steady state noises if you shift it to less. Keep in mind that you may want to change these again in the future depending on your environment. You can also toggle on Conversation Boost, which will amplify sounds even more that are coming from in front of you, including your own voice if you're speaking, and reduce sounds coming from behind you. This is typically helpful in a noisy environment like a restaurant. If you do not like the adjustments you've made, you can always reset all tunings. If you go back to the AirPods settings page, you will see that you can toggle between transparency, adaptive, and noise cancellation modes. Transparency mode allows you to amplify sounds around you, but any noise reduction is applied by you. Adaptive mode combines transparency mode and active noise cancellation to automatically adjust the amount of noise you hear from around you. And noise cancellation mode basically turns off any external amplification and turns on maximum active noise cancellation. As you can see, there is a hearing protection feature in this new iOS 18.1 update as well, but that is a topic for another video that I will link in the description of this video. If you scroll further down on the page, you will see some other options which may be helpful, such as conversation awareness that will reduce streaming volume from your iPhone if someone is talking to you so you can hear them better, or adaptive audio that dynamically responds to environmental noise to allow more or less noise to come through the AirPods. Okay, so once you get the hearing aid adjustments set up the way that you initially want them, you do not have to go all the way back through the settings of the phone to readjust them. You can do that much easier from your phone and let me show you how to do that. Let me hold this up to the screen here. You wanna swipe down from the top right hand corner to bring up this menu and you see that little ear icon right there? That's what you wanna tap on to open up the hearing assistance option here. So you'll 
you'll tap on that and you can see that you have all of the same adjustments that you had in the settings of your phone, but you can get to them much quicker. You can also see on this screen that you have the Apple AirPods battery life. When you use this hearing aid feature, it does chew down on the battery life much quicker. So if you need to be checking this periodically throughout the day, that's an easy way to do it. And there you have it. That is the step-by-step -step tutorial for setting up your Apple AirPods Pro 2 as over-the-counter hearing aids. Of course, performance will vary depending on your severity of hearing loss. These really are not appropriate for anyone who has more than a moderate level of hearing loss, and it will heavily depend on how good you are at actually programming your own devices. I should also mention that if the hearing test that you take in the iPhone indicates an asymmetrical hearing loss like I have, I would highly recommend that you consult with an audiologist because it could be the sign of a serious medical condition. If you would like to find an excellent hearing healthcare professional in your area, I highly recommend that you check out my website hearingup.com to find a hearing up network member in your area these hearing care professionals have been vetted and they are more than happy to help you set up your apple airpods pro 2. all that being said if you want to check out my detailed review video of the apple airpods pro 2 as official over-the-counter hearing aids i will have this video linked in the description and you can actually click on it right now if you want to see that review